Many people go through an identity crisis at some point in their lives, but not like this. One man woke up eight years ago without the slightest idea of who he was. The continuing search for his identity is now the focus of a student-made documentary. My name is Benjamin Kyle. You don't know who I am, and quite frankly, neither do I. This is my story. The documentary Finding Benjamin tells the story of Benjamin Kyle, a name taken from the initials of the Burger King where he was found, beaten and naked next to a dumpster with no identification. I don't know how I got there, and I don't have no memories of who I am. Benjamin was diagnosed with retrograde amnesia. Finding Benjamin is a student film by recent Florida State University graduate John Wickstrom. Authorities couldn't tell Benjamin who he was, and without a social security number, he couldn't get a job or a place to stay. For all practical intents and purposes, I don't exist. Benjamin became the first U.S. citizen to be listed as missing, despite his whereabouts being known, and the FBI left it at that. Benjamin Kyle doesn't remember anything about his past, and despite national media appearances, nobody seems to remember him. Benjamin doesn't have the proper identification needed to get a new social security number. His only form of ID, his own Wikipedia page. That makes doing virtually everything impossible, such as gaining entry into a homeless shelter. You have to have your social security and you have to have a, have a valid photo ID. We explained his story with the articles and even a clip from Dr. Phil, but still, no luck. Finding Benjamin was shown this year at the Tribeca Film Festival. I'm going to tell you my story because I want a future. I can't do this by myself. This is my SOS, my message in a bottle. And with us now from Jacksonville, Florida, our filmmaker John Wickstrom and Benjamin Kyle. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. This is an incredible story, John, and you stumbled onto it on the internet. You thought it was going to be a quirky story you would tell initially, but you changed your focus. Why? Well, originally, um, the I found Benjamin's Wikipedia article online, and I was looking for a approach for a documentary, and I thought, oh, this is an interesting story. This is this is something quirky, and originally it was going to be something kind of funny, just kind of look at this guy, but. You know, as soon as we started filming and getting to know Benjamin, it became clear that this this wasn't this wasn't funny or quirky. This was this was a real man with a real issue, and it it the tone quickly changed. Benjamin, I was reading a bit. You you remember some things, places, locations, some events. You don't remember people. What is that like? What do you remember? Uh. Well, I remember being in a lot of places in Denver, uh, Boulder. Um, I don't know how to describe it, actually. Uh, um, I mean, how do you tell people how what you can't remember? Uh, are the memories, Benjamin, are they visual? Do you remember being hugged ever, for example? No, I don't, I don't remember that. Mostly, I, I, you know, I remember. They're visual memories. I mean, I, you know, I can picture the movie theaters in in Denver or, or the street streets. Um, I get on the uh, Google Street View and, and and look around. I see uh, how things have changed. And uh, every once in a while, you know, something will bring back a memory. What are the next steps here? How do you figure out who, who you are? How do how do you move forward? Um, I just take one day at a time because I, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know what else I can do. Part of part of the approach, John, uh, was to find Benjamin a social security number. He he doesn't have one. He doesn't have an ID. Um, and you put a petition out on We the People um, on the WhiteHouse.gov website. You didn't get enough signatures to get him that social security number. What are you thinking of doing, John? Well, um, the petition was really good because it was a great call to action and it was a really good way to have people show their support. But right now, um, like Benjamin said, just take it one day at a time. Uh, hopefully his story is going to get out there thanks to you guys and uh, some good coverage. Hopefully, you know, people are going to find this compelling and really, really listen to Benjamin and hopefully take heart and something something will happen. 
All right, good luck to both of you in figuring that out. Benjamin Kyle and John Wickstrom, thanks for joining us.